Ok, vamos a ver. Ahora sí se escucha. Ay, sí, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Ok, nice. Aneris, tú que me estabas troleando. A ver, ¿sí me escuchas? Ok. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Ok, I don't understand why I have some problems. Creo que la máquina se, se, se me alocó un poco, ¿verdad? Así que las disculpas del caso. Um, we're going to start now the class. So, welcome back. Gracias por tener la paciencia, ¿verdad? Seguramente me veía gracioso ahí, ah, solo moviendo la boca sin poder, pues, comentar, pero ya solventamos, ya todo, todo en orden, ¿ok? Perfect. We're going to start the class. This is the class number eight, clase número ocho. Y pues vamos a iniciar con, uh, pues, con el tema en sus momentos se los presentaré. Just give me a second. Okay, uh, the topic is how to use have to and how to use need to. ¿Verdad que son dos verbos bastante importantes que se refieren a lo que tienes que hacer o lo que necesitas hacer? Okay, so this is the topic. How to use have to or need to. Por ejemplo, si ustedes dicen I have to, yo tengo que. Tienen que hacer algo. Es súper urgente. And when you say I need to, con dicen I need to, eh, se refiere a que necesito hacer algo en específico. Ok, so in this case, we're going to start by now, antes de comenzar con lo de la lista. Here we have a starting question. Tenemos una pregunta inicial. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? And what is something you never do in your workplace? Así que para hacerlo más práctico, vamos a, van a decirme una de las cosas que sí hacen en su trabajo and the opposite. Y una de las cosas que no hacen. Por ejemplo, si su trabajo revisa en el correo y algo que no hacen es cantar. Por o en el caso de que preparen reportes, informes, ¿verdad? Pero lo que no hacen es bailar, tango, o I don't know, whatever comes to your mind, lo que sea que llegue a, a su cabeza, ¿verdad? O también puede ser de que ustedes sí planifiquen actividades, ¿ok? Plan activity, ¿ok? In my workplace, I plan activity, but I don't, I don't speak in public, no hablan en público. ¿Ok? Una de las cosas que sí hacen y otra de las cosas que no hacen, diciendo don't, ¿verdad? O pueden decir I never, I never speak in public, I never dance in my work, okay? I never cook in my work, ¿ok? Whatever. So, uh, we're going to start here with Elizabeth, make some hi, hello, person. Eso lo vamos a pasar a Elizabeth, ¿ok? Elizabeth, are you there? No está. Vamos con Flor. Ok, Flor. Ok, Flor. Dinos unas cosas. One thing you do and another thing you never do. Una de las cosas que sí es, es lo que nunca hace. Often attend meetings y okay. la otra no la tengo lista. Ok, piensa, piensa. Ya te vamos a preguntar. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's continue with Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Are you there? Okay, parece que no está pues, Francisco. By the moment, let's move uh, with Gabriel. Present. Hello, Gabriel. Nice. Okay, can you tell us one thing you do and one thing you never do? Eh, ahorita las estaba completando, teacher. Okay, bien. Eh, seguimos con Helen que viene el camino. Um, 
porque no está todavía conectada, me parece. Iris, I don't know if, if Iris is here. No yet. Ok, uh, Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Good evening. Hola, hello. Hola, ¿me escuchas? Sí, sí, acabo de entrar otra vez, no me había percatado que se había cerrado la sesión, dicho. Ah, sí, tuvimos dificultades. Bien, te vamos a dar un momento. Entonces vamos con Juan. Pero explique, explique que a estas dos preguntas. Ajá, una de las cosas que sí haces, one thing you do and the other thing you never do. Algo que ah, tú no eh, no, en question one is mirroring shorts. Mirroring shorts. Ok. Ok. Um, what is some setting you never in your workplace? Um, sí, esa se la debo. Ok, no problem. No. no problem. Let's see. Uh, what about? Do we have Juan? Tenemos por acá Juan. All right. Okay. Vamos con Judith. Entonces, hello Judith. Good evening. Parece que tampoco se ha conectado. Vamos a ver. Um, Ivania viene de camino. Me comentaba. Carly. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, okay. What do you do? Okay, I check the student books, and but I don't exercise. Okay, wow, you should. Everybody should. Todo debería, deberíamos. Thank you, Carly. Very nice. We go with Kathy. Are you there? Hello. Hello. There. Um, I always check my email. Perfect. Um, I never cook in my work. Oh, okay, nice. Thank you. What about David? Are you driving? But manejando, David? No, teacher. Okay, tell us about uh, this question. Okay, David. Listo para esta pregunta? No. Ok, si no, vamos entonces con Marvin. Are you there? Hi, good evening. Hello. Uh, the first question, a supervised product on Wednesday. Perfect. And uh, second question, I never touch money. Oh, nice. That's very specific. You never touch money. Thank you. Very nice. Judith, good evening. Good evening. No sé si me escucha. Oh, you see? Sí. Yeah, aquí okay. estamos. Okay. Sí. I'm sorry. Sí. <laughs> Okay, so tell us um, what's one thing you do and one thing you never do in your workplace. I prepare reports. I right. never drive cars. Really? But you can. Can you drive a car? Como? What is? Oh, manejar carro? Yes, drive car. Yes, yes. Mm, nice, but it's not part of your functions, right? Okay, thank you. What about Nelson? Present. Hello, Nelson. Okay. What about you, my friend? Okay. Uh, every day in my workplace, and uh, clean and calibrate color equipment, check corporate email, uh, complete the technical service log, and I never leave repairs halfway. Okay. Very nice. Very specific. Trabajador, no salió Nelson. Thank you. A ir a la playa el otro fin de semana. <laughs> ok, nice. Uh, Patty, are you there? Ok, I guess no. Uh, Roberto. Roberto, creo que estoy por ahí conectado. Pues en teacher. Okay. Eh, hay. Hay, hay, hay. Preparar reportes. Preparar reportes. I never. What do you say, barrer in English? Ah, English. sweep. 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 I never uh, sweep. Okay, very nice. Thank you. What about Christy? Are you there, Christy? Bien, al parecer, uh, no por el momento. William, hello. Hi, teacher. 
Hello, good okay. Tell us about this person. Hello. No se hacía pasolita. No se me oye. Okay. Uh, permítame, William. Christy, creo que eh, quizás tienes internet un poquito inestable. Ok. Si gustas, esperamos un poco, pero ya te anoté, Cristi. Ok, ya te anoté. No hay problema. No, no. Ok. Gracias, gracias. You're welcome. De nada. William. Este, teacher, eh, realmente no lo había preparado porque me este, entiendo, pero ¿cómo sería? Este, siempre, siempre hago cotizaciones. Ok. I always prepare cotizations. ¿Y qué nunca haces? I never. Mm, del trabajo, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm. No sé, teacher. Ok. Vamos con Jocelyn. Jocelyn, are you there? Is in my phone. Ah, there is. Ok. Um, I check Gmail. Ok. I never... Eh, ba, eh, barrer, ¿cómo puedo decir? Sit. O limpiar. Sweet. Okay, never clean or sit. Thank you. Very nice. We we'll go with Aneris and then Iris. Okay, Aneris. Se me fue Aneris. No, okay. I just saw it. Good evening. Okay. <laughs> ya ve, parece me No. I process invoices. I never hold meetings. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Perfect. It is hello. Good evening. Good evening. Puede decir no una y una. Every day in my work. Place. I check the common areas of the building. Um, the something I never do in my work like is if in my place, uh, in my workplace. Okay, very nice. Thank you, very nice. Uh, it is okay. So, everybody, uh, just to Repeat again, the topic of tonight is how to use, uh, how to use have to and need to. So before we go to the specific topic, after the ir con el tema específico, vamos con el vocabulario que siempre damos en inicio de clase. Y es el do you mind, el famoso do you mind. Here we have this um, explanation. So I need, Kathy, help me reading, please. We use do you mind to ask polite, politely, politely, polite, polite a person to do or not to do something in a specific. Okay, something in specific. Thank you. Cuando le pedimos a alguien que haga algo amablemente y pues algo específico. Por ejemplo, do you mind closing the door? Do you mind speaking aloud? Y acá, en este caso, pues, lo que hacemos es que agregamos el do you mind y el verbo debe de estar en ing. Cuando preguntamos, do you mind closing the door? Se refiere, ¿te importaría cerrar, verdad, la puerta? O en otras palabras, ¿te molestaría cerrar la puerta? Y la otra sería, do you mind speaking aloud? ¿Te molestaría hablar fuerte? ¿Te importaría hablar fuerte? Aloud se utiliza esta palabra cuando quieren que alguien hable fuerte o cuando alguien está hablando fuerte o la música está muy fuerte aloud, aloud, ok entonces eh, prácticamente the structure is do you mind, esta es la estructura do you mind más el verbo en ing there is another verb that it is very interesting otro verbo que es interesante es, es cuando utilizamos mind se parece a bother. Bother significa molestar. Brother significa hermano. No tiene nada que ver. Bueno, quizás. Pero, but the brother, hermano, bother, molestar. Pero en este caso, tenemos que mind es como un sinónimo de molestar. 
continue on. Let's continue with this. And here we have some other examples. Tenemos otros ejemplos. Do you mind? Eh, tenemos también el otro uso, ¿verdad? En este caso, do you mind closing the door? Uh, usamos el verbo con ing. En este caso, no utilizamos el verbo con ing, pero tiene el mismo uso. Do you mind if? Do you mind if I close the window? ¿Te molesta si cierro la ventana? ¿Te importa si cierro la ventana? Do you mind if I smoke here? ¿Te molesta si yo fumo acá? Do you mind if I sit here? ¿Te molesta si me siento acá? Do you mind if I leave earlier? ¿Qué dicen a su jefe? ¿Te molesta si me voy más temprano? Y todo su jefe le va a decir, no, come on. Go early, vete temprano. Así que eh, la otra estructura con el do you mind es utilizando la palabra if. Do you mind if? Okay. So that's it. Um, vamos a crear un par de oraciones sencillas con esto. So, now that we have the two forms, how to use do you mind, tenemos ahora las dos maneras de cómo utilizar el do you mind. Cuando nos hacen estas preguntas, ¿te molesta si apago la televisión? ¿Te molesta si apago el aire acondicionado? Ok. All those, también debemos de saber cómo contestar. Entonces, cuando ustedes le dicen, no, I don't mind, please. No, no me molesta. Por favor. O oh, you can say, no, go ahead. No, adelante. Okay. Uh, for example, imagine you are in, the, in, a, in an office, in an oficina, and it is too cold. Está haciendo mucho frío. ¿verdad? Entonces alguien puede decir, do you mind if I turn off the AC? ¿Te molesta si apago el aire acondicionado? Y alguien puede decir, no, I don't mind, please. No, no me molesta. O, oh, no, go ahead. No, adelante. Okay. So there are different forms to answer. Que serían estas dos. Ok. Ahora. Que tenemos esto. Eh, tenemos otros ejemplos. Do you mind if I open the window? ¿Te molesta si abro la ventana? Y ustedes pueden decir. I'm sorry. I feel cold. So please don't. Eso es cuando hay, alguien quiere hacer eh, alguna acción. Y ustedes no quieren. Por ejemplo. ¿Te molesta si abro la ventana? Y ustedes dicen. Mm, lo siento. Está... Hace frío. o oh, siento frío. Por favor, no. Okay. I'm sorry if you cold. So please don't. O simplemente pueden decir, please don't. Por favor, no. Another option. Do you mind if I turn on the TV? ¿Te molesta si enciendo la televisión? I'm sorry. I'm studying right now. Lo siento. Estoy estudiando ahora mismo. Okay. Porque la televisión puede ser un distractor. Okay. So now we're going to create some sentences or questions, algunas preguntas con do you mind. Tienen dos opciones. Utilicen el do you mind con el verbo y el ing. O pueden utilizar el do you mind con el if. Ok, vuelvo a ponerles los ejemplos. Hello, Jimmy. Hola, teacher. Sí, eh, no, comentarle que hay veces cortado pero sí se le logra identificar lo que dice pero a veces se pone un poquito más cortado pero sí llega el audio pero como tardado para... ok ok déjame ver entonces uh, en este caso Aneris se escucha igual así como dice Jimmy que se corta no todo bien más bien creo que quizá es el inter de él Ah, vaya. es posible porque también aquí en Producción está lloviendo, no sé si por su eh, residencia también está lloviendo por donde viven, pero por momentos eh, apago la cámara para que no se tarde mucho el audio también. Bien, repito nuevamente. Dos opciones. Podemos utilizar el Do you mind con el ING. Y la otra opción es el do you mind con el if. Depende de ustedes cuál. Preparen una pregunta. Como que me quieren decir, ¿te molestaría si terminamos la clase? ¿Te molestaría si cómo? ¿Te molestaría si no hacemos las tareas? Ok. Whatever you want to say. Te doy un minuto.
All right, let's see what you have. Nelson, what's yours? Are you ready with your question? Um, do you mind if I smoke here and now? <laughs> okay, depends what you want to smoke. Depends on that, okay? How do you say uh, pipa? Pipe. Pipe. Mm -hmm. Cigarette or pipe? Ah, okay, nice. That's option, is that? Okay, inbox Nelson. Okay, now. Okay, it, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Let's listen to Aneris, que también quiere que le mande, dice. Okay, Aneris, and then uh, Jocelyn. ¿A qué te vas? Aneris, Jordi. No está listo todavía. Un momento. Eh, sí, no había formulado la, la oración. No estás listo. Ya. Pero, no, 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 ya. Vamos a inventar. Sí, vamos a inventar. Do you mind if I invited you for a ride? Okay. Invited, That's... invitar. Está bien, no problem. Very good. Thank you, Anaris. Jocelyn and then Kathy. Okay. Mm. Do you mind open the door? Do you mind opening? Open the sí. door. Yeah. Aquí es do you mind opening the door, pero aquí es do you ah, mind okay. if I open the door, okay? Ah, okay. Thank you, Jocelyn, Kathy, and then Iris. Uh, do you mind turning down the volume? On uh, the TV. Okay, the TV. Mm -hmm. Or oh, the volume. Very good. Nice. Thank you, Kathy. It is, and then we go with uh, Roberto. Okay. Okay, good example. Thank you, Roberto. And then we go with William. Do you, do you mind? If I drink coffee here, okay. here, 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 no problem. Adelante, usted va, usted va a activar, igual que Nelson. Okay, William, <laughs> and then Jimmy. Este sería, do you mind moving car? Okay, moving your car, podría ser. Como moving your mover, car. Tu car, ajá. Como esos vecinos que... Everybody has like neighbors, special neighbors. Que te dejan el carro bien, bien pegadito. Okay. Jimmy, and then we go with uh, Christy. Okay. Uh, do you my turning of the light? Uh -huh. Turning of the light. Good. Good example. Okay. We go with Christy, and then we go with Charlie. Do you mind? No, I don't. Do you mind? No, I don't. Do you mind? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Ah, okay. Do you mind? Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Carly and Marvin. Do you mind if I turn off the camera? Okay, ah, buena excusa, tu buena jugada. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Marvin and Judith. Okay, do you mind coming to work on Saturday? Okay, very nice. Judith, and then we go with um, Ivani. Do you mind if I disconnect it at night? Okay. okay, very nice. Y Carly se fue, de verdad. Okay. Uh, Ivania, con cabello suelto, and then Flor. Okay, Ivania. Let's go. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I live without you? Okay. Eso se escuchó bien, sad. Okay, thank you, Ivania. Flor, and then, what about Elizabeth? Do you mind if the cook? If I cook, podría ser, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth okay. and Gabriel. Do you mind if I taste the drink? Okay, good example. Bien, Gabriel tiene problemas con el audio. Vamos a ver, David. 
Pero ok. Bien, entonces, eh, como pueden ver, está, no se están complicando el do you mind. Así que cuando escuchen, cuando les dicen do you mind, es, les están preguntando si les incomoda, si les molesta algo en específico. Entonces, cuando escuchen do you mind, recuerden, eh, pongan la atención a lo que viene después. Do you mind moving your car? Do you mind if I go to go to have dinner, lo que sea, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Y recordando, si ustedes quieren decir que algo sí les molesta, no todos van a decir sí, ¿verdad? Ok, because we have some different likes, different gustos. You can say, please don't, por favor, no. Ok. Uh, do you mind if I put on the radio? ¿Te molesta si pongo la, la, la radio? No, please don't. Ok. And so, y así sucesivamente. Ok, we go now with this. Eh, Se recuerdan que estuvimos viendo los commands, los comandos. How to use commands in order to, or, to order or tell someone to do something. Everybody has had a difficult boss. Creo que todos hemos tenido jefes difíciles. Jefes, jefas difíciles. And that's very common in every single work. Some of them are polite. Hay algunos que son cuando decimos polite, no significa político, nada que ver. Polite significa uh, amable. So, some bosses are polite and some others are not. Algunos no lo son. Y a veces solo le dicen, they order, solo ordena. Send a memo, check the report, supervise the employees, go to a meeting. Okay. Pero aquí tenemos la palabra importante para sonar más amable. Please, please write a memo, please, eh, perdón, uh -huh, write a memo, o send a memo, please write a check, please check the report, please supervise the employees, please go to a meeting. Y vamos a tener un trabajo en parejas en este momento. Um, como siempre, nosotros, everybody knows the needs of the uh, bosses. Todos sabemos las necesidades que tienen todos los jefes. Entonces, vamos a hacer algo. Van a consultar lo siguiente. Brainstorm 16, your classmate boss needs him her to do tomorrow. Van a decir, en lugar de seis, vamos a decir solo tres. Tres cosas que ustedes consideran. You consider your boss is going to ask tomorrow. Que tu jefe va a pedir mañana. Or during the week. For example. Um, Marvin asks to Kathy. Marvin le, le pregunta a Kathy. Okay. Uh, what's uh, your boss? What? What does your boss want? ¿Qué quiere tu jefe? Yo creo que quiere muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Dinero más que todo. But in this case, we are talking about activities or functions you have to do. Estamos hablando de funciones, cosas que ustedes tienen que hacer. What does your, does your boss want? ¿Qué quiere tu jefe? ¿Ok? Y Marvin puede decir, um, uh, my boss... Esto es importante. One, two. Cuando decimos my boss wants me to, want significa querer, pero en este caso no están diciendo que su jefe lo quiere. Estamos diciendo que sus jefes quieren que ustedes hagan algo. My boss wants me to check the materials. Ok. Entonces ustedes van a decir eso. My boss wants me to check the materials. My boss wants me to call the client. My boss wants me to go to a meeting. ¿Ok? Tres actividades. Ahora, cuando vengamos, no vamos a hacer el report. ¿Bien? Entonces, esta es la pregunta que le van a hacer. What does your boss want? ¿Qué quiere tu jefe? And you're going to answer three things. Y van a contestar tres cosas. My boss wants me to. Y segunda opción. 
My boss wants me to, the other, and my boss wants me to, dice la tercera. Las anotan, take notes, and then we come back to the report. De ahí venimos para el report. Okay. Questions for this activity? No questions. Okay. Perfect. And we're going to. Let's see. We're going to come in a couple of minutes. So let me ver con quién los voy a organizar acá. Okay, see you in a moment. Teacher, me ayuda nuevamente a enviarme la invitación que no me deja entrar. Este. Sí, me ayuda nuevamente enviándome la invitación para el grupo pequeño. Es que no sé por qué el internet no me deja. Vale. Pensé que estaba de rebelde. Casi, casi. <risa> Gracias. Ok, ya te la envío. Permítame. Ok. Ya ve, no me deja. <ríe> me regresó el solito y si no toqué nada. Me de regresó verdad. solo. Sí. Última vez, probemos. Todavía no le des, permítame. Todavía no. Yo te aviso, yo te aviso. Bye. Ahora, intenta. Hoy sí, sala 2. Sí. Vaya, gracias. Ok.
Jason y Kathy, as always, como siempre, haciendo un trabajo excelente. So we're, I'm going to explain to you, le voy a explicar cómo vamos a trabajar eh, con el tema de records. En este caso, vamos a utilizar estos dos ejemplos que pueden ver acá. Bien, vamos a cambiar los nombres para que no sean tan ficticios. Esto lo vamos a poner. Carlis Boss. Y en la otra le vamos a poner. Jocelyn. Aquí vamos a agregar. Bien. Van a hacer lo siguiente. Van a elegir una. You're going to select one activity that your boss, your, your boss wants you to do. Que su jefe quiere que, que usted deja. ¿Ok? Y se va de esta manera. Eh, por ejemplo, digamos que me tocó con Carly. Y Carly me dijo que su jefe quiere que ella mande correo electrónico. Sería así. Carly's boss wants her to send emails. ¿Ok? El jefe acá dice... El jefe de Carly quiere que ella envíe correos. Acá dice, bueno, aquí vamos a cambiar. Vamos de caballero, vamos a ponerle Marvin. Marvins. En este caso, sería así. El jefe de Marvin quiere que él vaya a reuniones, ¿ok? Así que ese es el punto. Si es para, digamos, señorita, utilizamos her y para caballero, him. Pero utilizamos siempre el nombre, el primer nombre de ustedes, ¿ok? So this is about activities that you normally do during your week, lo que hacen durante la semana. ¿Ok? Let's start and this time with Carly. Okay, Carly. Okay. And Judith, boss wants her to prepare a virtual education presentation. Wow. Thank you, Carly. Judith, you go, my friend. Carla, boss wants her post grade. Okay, Carlas. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carlas. Yes. Okay, Carlos. Porque estamos hablando de el jefe o la jefa de Carlos. Thank you. Okay, now let's go with Kathy and then Nelson. Sería Anelis Boss want her to catch register recites. Okay, nice. Let's listen to Nelson and then Anelis. Eh, no nos alcanzó el tiempo para ponernos de acuerdo los tres. Ah, ya va, ya va, no les creo. Estaban ahí los, los propios. Ok. ¿Yo have one? ¿Tienes uno? De sí. Quien sea, porque yes. fueron tres. Uh -huh. Ok. Um... Bueno. Generate a report of equipment pending parts. Pero, ¿de quién? No. ¿El jefe de quién? Uh, my boss. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. <laughs> but you were talking with some others. ¿Copiaste alguna de los demás? Uh, no. <laughs> but, entonces vamos a decir Nelson's. Nelson's boss. En tercera persona estás hablando. Como que si okay. eras un alter ego. Okay, nice. Uh, we go now with um, Aneris, me parece. And then we go with Martin. Kathy's boss. Kathy's boss wants here to send materials to the projects. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Okay, uh, Marvin, you go. Okay, Kathy's boss wants me to check the email in the morning. Okay, Kathy's boss wants her. 
¿verdad? Okay. Ajá, porque si, porque tú no trabajas con iris, ¿verdad? No. Ok, entonces es así. Iris, bus, oh, sorry. One third. Ok. So, porque si tú dices once me, quiere decir que la, el mismo jefe de Iris es tu mismo jefe. Ok. Y te está pidiendo cosas a ti. Ajá, entonces sería aquí once her. Mm -hmm. Ok. Very nice, thank you. Ok, Iris, what about you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Marvin's box wants it when they sell report. Okay, good. Thank you. Very nice. Let's listen now to Flor. What about you, Flor? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, uh, Roberto Boss wants him to supervise employer. Wow, very interesting. Thank you. Okay, Roberto, you go and then we go with Jocelyn. Uh, Flor Bass wants her to call a meeting. Okay, thank you. Jocelyn, your turn. Okay, Cristina's boss wants her to send emails. Good one. Okay, Christy, you go. And then David. Uh, activa el micrófono, Christy. Sorry. Uh, Jocelyn, my boss, Jocelyn, uh, boss, one, uh, to check the mail. Okay, wants her to send emails. Thank you. Uh, David, and then we go with, okay, David, and then Jimmy. Okay, see, David, if David is not ready, what about Jimmy? Your turn. Ok, creo que tiene dificultades con internet, quizás. Jimmy, Gabriel también, ¿verdad? Ok, we continue. Ok, Gabriel, please. Jimmy's boss wants him to review of this customer. Very nice, yes, review. Ok. Hello, hola, hola. Hola, Jimmy, yes. Oh, hoy sí, estaba hablando yo solo. Ok, ¿estás listo already? Ah. Yes, yes. Uh, Gabriel Boss wants him to the same reports. Okay, thank you. Very good job. So now here we have this. Tenemos estas dos frases también que me gustaría que las tomaran en cuenta, si las pueden copiar. Cuando decimos due date es fecha final. And sometimes we have due dates to prepare reports send emails, send inventory, or whatever. Esa es la fecha límite, igual que esta, deadline. Cuando tenemos esta, esta, esta frase deadline, significa que la fecha límite es, por ejemplo, the due, uh, due date, ¿verdad? Esto se dice due. Okay. Due date is um, on Friday 12, el, do, el, el viernes 12, okay? Or deadline, the deadline is uh, Friday 19, el viernes 19, okay? Así que para eso sirve estas, uh, this kind of uh, phrases. For example, Carly's boss wants her to send emails and the due date is on Friday 12, que el, la fecha límite es el viernes 12. Okay. Well, uh, let's move. Here we have this question now. Tenemos esta pues, eh, pregunta. Speaking activity. Where should governments spend more money on? ¿Dónde deberían gastar hoy? ¿Sí? O destinar más dinero los gobiernos, ok? I want to hear some of your answers. What about Iris? Are you ready with your answer, Iris? Okay. 
Okay. If Iris is not ready, let's move to Flor. Flor, what about you? Hi, teacher. Uh, yes. Should spend more on healthy and um, education. Okay, on health. Education, yes, okay. Porque healthy es saludable, okay? Y health es education, es, uh, health es salud, salud. Okay, let's move now okay. to health. Carly. Okay, hello, Flor. And they should, they should invest in the educational area. Area. Okay. Area, area, area. I think that if educational resources are improved, there will be more professionals who contribute to the country. Okay, very good. Bueno, si nos invest, se refiere pues a invertir también. Thank you. Eh, lo siento, Iris. Parece que tienes eh, algunas dificultades. Bueno, ya vamos a escuchar los demás. Okay, thank you. Carly, we go now with Aneris and then Marvin. Aneris. First, in how there is a deficit in human resources. Eh, te escucho lejos, Aneris. No sé si, ¿estás con los audífonos? ¿Me escuchas? Casi igual. Creo que tus pecados están pesando en el audio. I'm sorry. ¿La escucha? Oh, es... sí, ahí vamos. Ok, sí. eh, government. Sí. Ok. First, in health, there is a deficit in human resources, in infrastructure, and in equipment, medicines, among others. Second, carry out a massive mitigation to the invest in the repair of this and to reduce the risk caused by geology, geological events. Okay, very good, very nice. Uh, okay, here we have this. I consider there are a lot of things to do and yes, Anaris, it is important to quit men and carry out good projects and all those things. Thank you. Um, Let's move with Marvin, and then we go with Roberto. Okay, uh, first, invest in education and road structure in the most vulnerable areas. We must also invest in the most marginal areas of, of the country. Okay, very nice, yes. I guess there are a lot of areas. Let me see. A lot of areas or fields, que significan campos, different areas or fields, where government should put the money. Thank you. Uh, Roberto, your turn, and then we go with Christy. Okay. The government should spend more money helping poor people who then have one. It show and also put more educational center so that each child can have more education. In addition, each show also make the country safer. Good one, Roberto. Definitely, yes. Uh, the help should go to poor people, but not only to give money, right? But give opportunities, give better equipment for schools, better help, and to carry out or to develop good projects. And unfortunately, desafortunadamente, los proyectos duran poco tiempo. The projects, if you can have very structured projects from 10 years, that could be a good, uh, well, that could be could implement and could bring good, good aspects. Los proyectos que duran más, Bien estructurados pueden tener buenos resultados, okay? But unfortunately, some projects are like two years, one year, and it's not like that, okay? 
Thank you. Let's uh, listen to Christy. Are you ready? Okay. Investment, investment in educational constitutes uh, an import, important, important there part of public spending and it increases it certainly good news, but it is necessary to spend more on education so that it reaches the most needy place in a country. Okay, yes, definitely. There are a lot of uh, projects that could be done with uh, the help from governments, but definitely education is the first. And what about Jimmy? And we continue with the class, with the other uh, parts of the class. Okay, Jimmy. Mm, well, if Jim is not ready, what about Gabriel? Yes. Okay, the first on education and all of the products socially and economically. What's the word that you say? What? Economically, I imagine. Economically? I think economically. Okay, perfect. Okay, yes. I guess okay. the the good the development and the survey the development of the country, it is not about just economically aspects, but also education, but they are they go together, van juntos. Okay, uh, Jocelyn and Jimmy, okay? Jocelyn, ready? Okay, teacher. For me, the government should spend more money on the education of children and young people especially for rural areas, so that their preparation is facilitated or facilitated, yeah, this is, and they can meet their goals. Okay, very nice, yes. Definitely it is, thank you, good answer, Jocelyn. And Jimmy. No. Okay. Okay. Um... The job government spend more money is to uh, areas. For the first is the essences and technology. Second, education and health. The church and church in the area of agriculture. Ah, okay, good, good option. Um, let me see. Tenemos eh, esas palabras. Y si se dan cuenta, utilizamos bastante eh, nuevo vocabulario. Something that I like from your all your answers and your opinions is that you give me more vocabulary. And if you notice, it is not just basic vocabulary. No siempre utilizan vocabulario básico. Ustedes a veces utilizan vocabulario un poquito técnico. And that's positive a lot. Bien, tenemos should. Should. OK? Recordemos eso. Should. No should. ¿Verdad? La O es silent. La L también es silent. O sea, no se pronuncia solo la U. Should de vocal. Bien. Agri Agriculture, y tenemos esto que es culture. Noten cómo está el patrón. Culture, culture, culture. Ok, so agriculture. And yes, definitely it is important. Bien, uh, it is. Hello there. It is. Hola. Hello. Ajá, te escucho con voz suavecita. De verdad, pero no estoy escuchando. No. no. Me escuchas. Me escucho. Te escucho cortado, de Iris. Eh, Marvin, ¿te escuchas también cortado o suave la voz de Iris? 
Sí, se escuchó bien cortado. Ajá. Eh. Vamos a probar después, ¿ok? Ok. Vamos a ver lo siguiente. Miren cuántas palabras han salido con ustedes. Very good. Han hecho bien la tarea. Vamos con esto. Tenemos acá, um, read about uh, Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Vamos a corregir si sí, hay pues algunas que están mal, pero también tenemos otras eh, oraciones por acá. Así que le voy a ir, le voy a pedir a algunos de ustedes que me ayuden a leer. We're going to start with Carly and then we go with Nelson. Okay, Carly, you start from the beginning until here. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Nelson and Ivani. I'm a human resources manager. Thank you, Ivania and then Marvin. Okay, every day I check email for the company. Perfect, Marvin. And then we go with Judith. Are you always answer the phone and tell to potential employees. Good one. Okay, Judith and Kathy. Generally, I okay. eight ten meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Thank you. Okay, we go now with. In my company, we always have events. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Aneris and then we go with Flo. Good morning, Flo. To attend a conference on July 21. 21st. And, ¿cómo? 21st. 21st, and then, hasta ahí. Hasta ahí. Yo sé que estaba inspirada, pero relax. <laughs> okay, thank you. We go now with Flor, ¿verdad? And then. Yes. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July. July? Uh, 22nd. July 22nd. I am always busy. 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 Bien. busy. busy. Quiero um, profundizar en algunas. Aquí se dice talk. Talk. Aquí decimos the afternoon. Porque como va una vocal, se dice the. Si fuera una consonante, se diría the. The, af eh, the afternoon. Luego tenemos events. Eh, 21st. Busy. Busy. And solo son detallitos. Ok. Very nice. Now here we have this reading. Ya que tenemos esta, pues, esta lectura. Vamos con lo siguiente. Okay, um, let's check this and you tell me if it is true or if it is false. Me dicen si es verdadero o es falso. Si es verdadero, uh, if it is true, no problem. But if it is false, we're going to change this sentence with the correct information. Vamos a uh, corregirlo, okay? Pero si es true, si es verdadero, como el amor, no problem. Okay, you tell me from one to seven, from one to seven, uh, which one it's true or false? Depende de ustedes. Sigan su corazón, que ya sé que me va a contestar. Y vamos a comenzar con Jocelyn, que se ve como que va a una fiesta después. Creo que tiene un after. Bueno, Jocelyn, celebra por nosotros. Ok, Jocelyn. Ok. Number one. Number one. His name is John Wilkins. Uh -huh. uh, for, uh, false. False. Uh -huh. His name? 
His name is John Wilson. Okay, false. Uh -huh. His name is John Wilson. Okay, that's false. Okay, now let's move. Okay, Jimmy, you want to say, okay, one number. Okay, uh, number seven. Number seven, what do we have number seven? It's false. Okay, I need you to read it. Necesito que lo lees. He has go to a conference on July 22. July 22, okay, he has to go to a conference, July. okay? Oh, and is he in Korea? It's of the July 21. 21st, yes. Uh, okay, 21. 21st, thank you, Jimmy. That's totally correct. Okay, any other volunteer? Para desenmascarar esta información falsa. Judith, okay, Judith. Number two. Number two. Uh -huh. Necesita que lea la oración. <laughs> sí, necesito que la leas y después me dices si es true, si es verdadero o false. Okay, he drives report every day is oh. false. False. Are you sure? Yeah. Number. Okay. Uh, false. Cuando entonces sería? Check emails for the company. Uh -huh. Every day. Every uh -huh. day I check. Check emails. emails. No right reports. Check exactly. emails. He checks emails. Okay. Nelson, está inspirado, Nelson? También? Uh, so so <laughs> so so okay pues sí, después del receso de ese break okay two uh, i'm sorry three four five or six mm. uh, number three number three he never answered the phone and told the customer okay, false mm -hmm. false because uh, he always answered the phone and talked to the potential employees. Employees. He employees. always, always answers. Así es, sí, él siempre contesta. Okay, very nice. What about Ivania? La veo así demasiado concentrada, se amarró el cabello para poner más atención en la clase. Number five or six. Mm, number five. Okay. He never attends meeting in the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay, vamos a comprobar la fidelidad. Uh -huh. mm. No, in the afternoon. I attend. Mm. And false. Mm -hmm. Because he attends. Because he uh, he attends meeting in the morning. Okay, in the morning. In the morning. Mm -hmm. Tranquila, sé que estaba ya emocionada. Pues relax. Okay, and then let's. Okay, and let's move with. What about Carly? Um, number five. Number five. And is false. Uh -huh. And he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Yes, it's false because he attends, right? He he attends. He attends uh, often, often meeting. Uh huh. Okay. And uh -huh, And not so often in the afternoon. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, and the last one is going to be for what about Iris? Con la mente me estaba llamando. Yes, Iris. Vamos a ver. Tal vez se escucha. Hoy sí se escucha. Como que si fuese Spotify. Nítido. Okay, Iris. Number six. Mm -hmm. 
actually has seven in his company. Two. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Aquí hay una pequeña, una pequeña palabra. Usually. He usually has events in the company. Y aquí dice eh, we always. always. Yes. So, ese es la, imagínense un pequeño detalle. Because he usually is like once a week, so, or I don't know, once a month, but always is like very frequent. Es como bastante frecuente. It is cuántos, cuántos audífonos has probado. Sí, que, oh Dios, de verdad que estoy cansada. Pero yo creo que con esto me va a funcionar. Robáselos, aquí te lo quitaste, robáselos. Okay. <laughs> sí. ok, my friends, let's continue with. Um, here we have this. Ah, no, no, nos falta, nos falta la otra. Where uh, should government spend more money? Vamos a aprovechar a uh, Iris, que ya está con todo. Okay, Iris, what's your opinion about this? We have governments, and governments have resources. Tienen recursos, los gobiernos. Maybe they have limited resources, but they have. So, what's your opinion about this? I think that the government should invest more in education. However, it's not convenient for them to have an education for an educator population. That is one of the reasons why we change in our situation. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Iris, quiero hacer una prueba contigo. Eh, dale un golpe a la mesa. O sea, no a nadie, sino que a la mesa. Pégale eso. Dale un poquito más fuerte. Ok, como que la puerta. No sé si es la salida de, o la entrada de, 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 porque está desde la computadora, ¿verdad? Ajá. Tal vez, o en Zoom, tal vez ya vamos a ver con la entrada, porque a veces está el audífono pero bien raro como que la configuración a veces está como desde la computadora y no del micrófono del audífono, pero, pero vamos a ver. Pero bueno, que ya te escuchamos más claro. Ok, thank you, Iris. Very good. Now let's listen to Katy. What about you, Katy? Este es un filtro para ver a quiénes podemos postular para candidatos de diputados. Ok, Katy. Ok. Um, in, in my government Government invests more in the education and creating more opportunities for all people have uh, access to education. Mm -hmm. okay. Interesting. Something important. Alguien está practicando flauta en tu casa, ¿verdad, Katy? Mi hijo, no, no hay que hay de todo animalo. tipo de música en toda la casa. Animalo, sí. animalo, apoyarlo. Bastante. Yo, me parece muy bien. Okay, um, access to education is not just going to school. Uh, if you notice, when you are working, cuando ustedes están trabajando, when everybody's working, there are some workshops, hay algunos talleres, and there are some accreditations, hay algunas acreditaciones that are so necessary. So education is not just elementary school, no solo educación básica, but also we have all types of workshops with different tipos de talleres, or different types of formation. For me, that's like complete education. And government should uh, provide that. Debería de proveer eso. Thank you. What about Nelson? And then we go with William. Vamos, Nelson. Okay. In El Salvador, government spending on health is um, 38.85. 5% okay. it is the 15th of the region compared to Cuba which has 4.39% according to the IDB the regulation of drug price 
built to make health spending more efficient is present in only a few countries in the region such as Ecuador, El Salvador, and Colombia, where drugs are up to 40% cheaper. Oh, good point. And you're talking about statistics, right? Uh, Cuba is one of the countries that um, provides more resources or more money for help, right? And that's really positive from that country. And that's one example of how countries or governments can improve. Un ejemplo de cómo pueden mejorar en esa área, in that area, okay? And imagine, and there are some other areas in which it is like very cheap. As you say, hay cosas que son como baratas and some others like medicines are cheap. Medicines in El Salvador are not cheap. No son baratas las medicinas aquí. So imagine, uh, wow, how it is like very ironic ironic uh, reality. Thank you, Nelson. Bye. Ya va llegando, ya. Casi me comencé, casi. Almost, almost. Okay, what about William? William and then uh, Ivania. Uh, government, government should spend more money in public transport. Okay, very nice. A uh, different uh, opinion. Public transport, imagine how many, how much time, I'm sorry, how much time do you take traveling from your house to your work? Uh, there are some employees that they take like three hours, imagine, so three hours traveling. And so that's a very tiring, it's muy cansado. And that you accumulate stress and you feel more tired and imagine uh, if you come back to home and you have some problems at home, economic or in different forms. And the next day, imagine you sleep like five hours, but missing quarters, and the next day, you're not going to be so productive. No, I so productive. So that time that, that it is taking from traveling can be improved. Si puede ser mejorado. I mean, not only for public transportation, but also like in, in different streets and well, we need improvement. Necesitamos mejor. Ya va saliendo el plan de gobierno. Okay. Ivania. Okay, Ivania and then Jimmy. Okay, I believe that the first investment in is in the training of children. So that they do, they do not have the circle that do the lack of education begin to work on the streets of lead, of lead them to delic delinquency, delinquency, mm -hmm. delinquency. Delinquency. It is okay, delinquency. Delinquency. <laughs> okay. Okay. Delinquency is. It is my opinion, uh, aunque no sé si es to, aunque. Ah, to. Mm -hmm. yes. To. Yes. All, all areas must have investment with their priorities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay. All dog or dog significan aunque. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, something important that Ivania mentioned is that the beginning stages in a childhood, like the past is the most important part of the of your process of education. Not only information, but also affective, affective, emotional, how to manage anger, como manejar el, el, la, digamos, el enojo. Uh, having good habits, tener buenos hábitos. Imagine a generation in which we can have a mental health, que tengamos salud mental, and we can have like a emotional health, a salud emocional, and like being integral, ser integrales. That could be a, a good step to improve our country. Ya paso para mejorar el país. 
Elizabeth, what about you? Ah, Jimmy, I'm sorry. Jimmy, can you hear me? I don't know if you're okay. Okay, maybe Jimmy has difficulties. Hello, I can uh, participate, teacher. Sure. Yes, so, es cierto, Jimmy, es cierto. Sí. Uh, Elizabeth, I don't know. Okay, let's move. Vamos a movernos. 34 minutos, 34 minutos, and we're going to finish. Ya casi finalizamos con esto. Just one more thing. Just give me a... A second. Uh, we're going to practice a conversation talking about third person. Vamos a ver eh, la, de las últimas conversaciones con la tercera persona. For me, it is so important because we have to pronounce well the last, debemos de pronunciar bien, pues la, las últimas, ¿qué? Las últimas letras. En el caso de las terceras personas, in the case of third person, that's one of the biggest problems. Es como los problemas un poquito más grandes. Okay. Um, so in this case, let's move to this. Okay, here we have conversation three and four. How does the green or the, the yellow words are like uh, very important because of the pronunciation? How does Sue stay so fit? She works, no work, she works out all the time. It sure looks like it. She also watches what she eats. Does she follow a special diet? Yes, she doesn't eat sweets and she doesn't drink alcohol. Entonces le pregunta, how does, como su es, eh, está tan fit, tan en forma? Eh, cuando decimos works out es entrenar. You can work out in the gym, in the soccer field, the basketball field. You can do different forms of working out. So she works out all the time. It sure looks like it. Mm, con razón. O seguramente por eso dice así. She also watches what she eats. Es una frase idiomática. Ella mira lo que come. Se refiere. It refers that she is careful. Ella es cuidadosa para su alimentación. Does she follow a special diet? Sigue alguna dieta especial? Diet. Yes, sí, ella no come dulces y no bebe alcohol, como todos sus perros. Okay, so very important. She doesn't eat sweets and she doesn't drink alcohol. Okay, that's sure diet. And here we have number four. What does this machine do? Machine. Uh, it shreds. Fíjense bien. I'm sorry, what is it? La película Shrek. Muchos no dicen Shrek, ¿verdad? Entonces dicen Shrek or I have heard about this. So it is Shred. Shred es como, solo que en lugar de la K es la de Shred que significa rasgar. rasgar. What does this machine do? It shreds paper. How does it work? Just put the paper here and it shreds it. It's easy to use. How does it stop? It stops on its own after it finishes shredding the paper. ¿Cómo funciona esta máquina? Um, rasga papel. ¿Cómo funciona? Work significa trabajar, pero también significa funcionar. How does it work? Just put the paper, solo pon el papel aquí y eso lo rasga. Es fácil de usar. ¿Cómo se detiene? How does it stop? It stop on its own. Se detiene por sí sola. Después que finaliza de rasgar el papel. And here we have does shreds. Como Shrek, Shrek, pero shred. Uh, easy. Does own. Um, okay. Uh, maybe we can have the help of 
a Nevis, que seguramente ella lo mandó. Ok. Como me dijeron la chica de las de las capturas. Ok, we're going to practice a little bit and then we come back. 29 minutes, 29 minutes, and we're going to finish. Ok. So let's see here. See you in a moment. Ok, hello. Vamos a ver acá. Um, let's move with this. Aneris, diputada 2024. Ok, so you tell me. <laughs> ok, uh, who was your classmate? ¿Quién fue tu compañero? Catherine. Mm, ese, ese dúo estuvo interesante, right? Very interesting. 
Bien. Uh, conversation three, please. Can you? Uh, sí. How does you stay, Sophie? Hola. Hola. Okay. Katy. Uh -huh. um, Roma, conversation three. She works yes. out. She works out all the time. It sure looks like it. She also watches what she eats. Does she? Uh, does she follow a special diet? Yes, she doesn't eat sweets and she doesn't drink alcohol. 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 Es sana como todos ustedes. Yes. Ok, hablando de personas sanas, Nelson. Ok. Hey. Who was your classmate? Very good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can imagine. So, who is your classmate, Nelson? Um, Ivania. Ivania. Ok. So, can you help me with conversation four, please? All right. Uh, okay. Ivania, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Your man, a woman. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what does this machine do? It's your paper. How does it work? Just put, put paper here and it is sweet. Shreds. It's Como shred. 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 It is complicated. Two words. <laughs> it is easy to use. Easy, easy to use. Easy to use. Okay. How does it stop? It stop on, on its own. It stop on its own after it finishes shredding. Shredding the paper. Yes, yeah, lo más fácil yes. Juan Nelson. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. Shredding the paper. Okay, very nice. Vamos con Judith. Estamos. Siguiente diputada, Judith. Who is your classmate? Carla. Bien. Let's go with conversation four. Okay, Judith, men or woman? Okay, what does this machine do? It shares paper. How does it work? Just put paper, put paper here and it shares it. It's easy to use. How does it stop? It stops on its um. its own. After it finishes sharing the paper. The paper. Thank you. And si se dan cuenta, a veces les pongo unas palabras algo extraño, but that's the point that you can improve and you can find like strange words, palabras raras, and that that's helpful. Okay. Well, uh, let's move now with this question. It's a very interesting question for me, and I guess for you too. Do you think childhood is the happiest time of your life? Uh, the time of my life. Okay, so you tell me why, yes, why not? Yes or not, why? Okay, in this case, we're going to start here with Judith and then Carly. Okay. Yes. Because my parents and grandparents were there all the time. I played with my friends. I went to school and I always bought the support of my family. Wow, very interesting. Good because you have your grandparents, grandmother and grandfather are like are commonly nice, really nice. Thank you. Carly and then Iris. Okay. 
Yes, I think it was the best time because I had no worries. In addition, I enjoyed enjoy time without having stress. Yes, no stress. When you are a kid, normally, because there are some other kids that they have some difficulties with violence and all those things, but normally, it is like very general. The kids are very relaxed. It is, and then we go with Christy. Hello. Yes. Um, I think so. Yes, teacher. Is the best time of our lives because we don't have to work. Yeah. Our only concert is to study, play, and eat. And sleep. <laughs> no, yes, no. When I hear a boy say that he wants to be deep, I want to hit him. Yes, of course. <laughs> no work and no taxes, no impuestos. And yes, definitely, you don't have bills to pay. No cuenta que pagar. So definitely you are very relaxed and you have time to play and sleep and watch cartoons. Okay. Perfect. It is good, good memory. Ya me hiciste recordar mis tiempos de niñez. Christy, and then we go with Marvin. Christy, are you ready? Aquí estoy. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Still hot is one of the most special states of life during this learning and uh, intentional social and uh, cognitive motor and um, emotional skill will be adquired. Yes. Uh, definitely, it's an important stage, significa etapa. ¿verdad? En un proceso. It's an important stage because you develop. Develop es cuando tú desarrollas. When you develop um, different abilities that are so important in life. Thank you, Christy. We go now with Marvin and then we go with Jocelyn. Okay. Yes, because these are the only years you can experience and many things which Pure and innocent. Mm -hmm. you innocent. Pure innocent. Yes. Innocent. Sí. ¿Seremos inocentes ahora? I don't. Nada, nada. No, sí. Para nada. Ajá. Solo veo sus reacciones. En, creo que todavía tenemos un poco de inocencia. Sí, un poquito, a little bit. Yes, innocence. It is because uh, we don't have experience. Before. Es como que no tenemos experiencia en muchas cosas. And that's why some people take advantage of that. Por eso la gente se aprovecha. Take advantage significa aprovecharse. In a positive way and negative way. So, we have to be careful with the kids. Tenemos, debemos de tener cuidado con los niños. Niños y niñas. That's, we have to be monitoring. Debemos de estar monitoreando siempre. Uh, Jocelyn. And then we go with Flo. Okay, teacher. No. Um, Chihuahua is the most fun time for me since my only concert was to get to get good grades. And always my parents, but also my tongues were to have fun with my friends. Yes. The only obligation or objective was to have good grades. Obtener buenas notas. Tenía buenas notas, Jocelyn. Good grades. You, are you sure? Okay, very nice. Only 10 and 9. Yeah, that's it. You don't have, you don't have some other obligations, but uh, it is important the kids help at home. Okay, that means that they live in a casa. When we say chores, it's housework. Chores eh, es el trabajo en la casa, los que hacer, el lugar, barrer, trapear y todo eso. En shorts significa corto, 
pequeño o pantalones cortos. Fíjense bien. Normally we say short. A eso le decimos short. Y aquí se dice short. Y chores significa trabajo en casa. Okay, so be careful. We have to be careful with this. Okay, because it is similar. And Flor, what about you? Uh, why is the leaves in the innocence of child, childhood and wind hot now wind that light is, is not easy? Yes, that's it, definitely. Childhood, it is important and we have to learn a lot of things. Okay, thank you. And well, before we move, uh, let's listen to um, William. Are you there? Let's pray, William. Okay, William, do you have your opinion about this question? Este, no lo había hecho, teacher. Okay, now, okay. So, let's move with Jimmy. Are you ready with this? Hello. Yes, Jimmy. Uh, my opinion of uh, uh, two... Uh, the, the, Fantasies and uh, innocently. Okay. Yes, in it is maybe the stage. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Continue, continue. <laughs> okay, recreative <laughs> it is the stage when we have more creativity because we play with fantasy. We imagine a lot of things. So we don't have to limit the okay. kids. No hay que limitar los niños. Okay, let's listen to Nelson and then Roberto. Okay, Nelson. All right. Um, do I think childhood is the happiest time of my life? Yes, because in childhood, 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 one, childhood, uh, one doesn't have the worries that one has as an adult, hub, adult, adult, yes. uh, such as working and paying taxes. Yes, that's the hardest, the most difficult taxes. Y la renta que no regresa a veces. Ok. No Worries worry. is preocupaciones. En worry es eh, preocuparse. El verbo preocupar. Hay una canción que se llama Don't worry, be happy. No te preocupes, sé feliz. Don't worry, be happy. Que creo que todos lo conocemos. So remember worry, preocupas, preocuparse. Worries, preocupaciones. Ok. Eh, les dicen tu Roberto. And then Gabriel. Ok. Yeah, because firstly, the childhood is happier. Time for a child because life as an adult is very difficult. Also, because when you are a child, we only think about playing besides that you do not go through problems. Okay, that's it. Yes, of course. So that's really, really good because we do just... Think of playing. Okay, now let's listen to Aneris. Uh, no, I have more sad memories than happy ones. Oh, really? Oh, okay. yes. I'm sorry, Aneris, remember? Everybody has like different uh, types of childhood, yes? And it is part of, of the life, okay? To overcome, ¿cómo decimos esta palabra? Overcome es superar, eh, como, como, como que pues, eh, sí, superar, digamos, fortalecerse después after difficult situation. So, eh, but maybe the teenagers, La adolescencia, quizás, Anaris. 
or adult to be an adult? Yani tap adulta? Mm, bueno, ahí sí. Ahora Me sí. Siento okay. bien. In high school, sí. en bachillerato. Mm. When you were rebel, cuando era rebelde. rebelde. No. Era rebelde. Okay. La situación en la que estaba me, me hizo ser rebelde. ¿Y ahora? Soy rebelde. No, no. Okay. Soy tranquila. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No problem. Let's listen now to Ivania, please. Ok. Um, yes, because uh, the time of chai is the best without working without worries uh, other than studying and being happy with little things without imagining what to plan for the future to survive yeah that's it and you maybe you have dreams you have ideas what you want in the future so that that's really good thank you uh kathy please and then we go with uh, Gabriel, creo que no ha pasado. Um, in my case, yes, because the only thing that worry, worry me is studying. And I have people that I miss a lot today who gave me all their love. Yes, especially friends or relatives, familiares o amigos. Sometimes when we are kids, we have family, we have friends. And as the time is passing by, you grow up to creces. Says, grow up, significa creces. You grow up and people have disappeared, they die, or you separate from other friends or relatives. So that, that's difficult. Okay, Gabriel, what about you? Okay. Uh, my opinion is yes, because you have time to have fun and there are not worries about life. Yeah, definitely it is to have fun, and that's that, that that's the most important thing, right? Good. And who else? Let's listen to David for the significant no. Okay. Let's move. Uh, we're going to finish with just one conversation. Con una conversación. Con el can. Cuando utilizamos el can, normalmente lo utilizamos para expresar alguna habilidad o qué cosa podemos hacer. Okay. Tenemos acá. Conversation one. Hello, can I get your name? Puedo eh, conseguir tu nombre. Puedo obtener tu nombre. Yes, my name is Tom Wilson. Great. And can I see your ID? Sure. Here is it. Thanks. And can you sign here? Certainly. Entonces, cuando utilizamos ser quien, hola, puedes darme tu nombre? ¿O puedo tener tu nombre? Sí, mi nombre es Tom Wilson. Genial. Y puedo ver tu identificación. ID es Identification Document. O como el DUI. Sure, seguro. Aquí está. Gracias. Y puedes firmar acá. Seguro. So, can, great, ID, sure, sign, certain. Solo vamos a practicar esta conversation. Solo conversación uno y después regresamos, ¿ok? Anelis, can you help me, please? It's very short. Anelis es bien rápido para las capturas. Me imagino que cuando le dan borrar mensaje ya los tiene ahí. Well, uh, okay, see you in a moment, my friends. Ya solo eh, regresaríamos para pasar listo.
Okay, we're going to finish this conversation with uh, Roberto, who was your classmate? With Flor. Okay, Roberto and Flor, conversation one, please. Go ahead. Dale, compañero, comienza. Flor. Okay. Hello. Can I get your name? Yes, my name is Tom Wilson. Great. Flor. Okay, uh, I guess we have problems. Creo que tenemos un poco de problemas con Flor. Bien. Este, ya solo quedan dos minutos. I'm going to check the attendance list. Este, porque ya Hello, no... teacher. Ok, Flor, problema con el internet. Creo que sí. Bien. Great. And can I see your ID? A ver, Roberto. Sure. Here, here is it. Ok, Flor, thanks. Thanks. And can you sing here? Uh, yeah, yeah, sign, yeah. Sign. Aquí se dice sign, yeah. o sea, firmar, sign, sign, es firme. Ok, I'm going to check the attendance list. Thank you, Flor and Roberto. And ahora le corresponde, corresponde a Ivania. Uh, Ivania, tú quedas después de la clase, ok? Um, you say hi, hello, good evening for the attendance list. And Elizabeth, parece que tenía solo el saldo con datos, quizás se le acabaron. Flor, hello. Good, good night. Good night. Uh, here we have Gabriel. Hi. Hi, Iris. Hi, teacher. Hi, Jimmy. Present. Good, Judith. Present. Nice, Ivania. Okay, Carly. Hi, teacher. Hello. And Kathy? Present. Okay. Uh, David? Creo que no podía. Here, teacher. Okay, David. Marvin? Present. Good. Uh, Nelson? Present. Good. Roberto? Okay. Christy? Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Present. Present. Jocelyn, thank you. Christy, William, Jocelyn. And Aneris. Present. Ok, and Aneris. Bien, eh, parece que Ivane tuvo dificultades. Carly, Present. ¿te podrías quedar ahora? Thank you, Aneris. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Carly. Ok, the rest, see you tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana. Bye bye, my friends. See you. Good night. Good night. Good see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Okay, Carly, hello. Hello, teacher. Bien, eh, consulta, hay algún, there is, is there a topic, un tema un tanto complicado, difícil que consideres? Mm. Para darle una revisada, vocabulary, eh, si es vocabulario, um, estructura gramatical. Creo que no, teacher. Creo que no. Creo que es todo bien. Todo, al 100. Yes, yes. Sí. Sí, creo que todo. Ok, permíteme entonces. Ok. Bien, le vamos a dar uh, práctica. Vamos a darle un poco de tiempo a esto. Bien, vamos. Um, you are, I'm going to be the man and you're, you're the woman. Ok, vamos. Ok. What does Bob do? He works at a hospital. What does he do there? 
he is a doctor. He specializes uh, in sport medicine. That sounds like a great job. Yeah, he loves it. Bien, solo aquí sería specializes. Specializes. Bien, rara or specializes. Sí. Okay, okay, let's move with uh, number two. Um, where does Mary live? She lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horses. Uh, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also grows her own food. She has it all. Good. Very nice. Solo aquí es rices. 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 Bien, vamos a hacer un ejercicio extraño. Carla. Ok. Vamos a leer, digamos, de reverso. Okay. Esto ayuda. Oh. Sí, ya, ya te explico. No sé si lo hicimos el grupo pasado. No, ¿verdad? No. Va, es así, mira, es bien raro. En lugar de decir, yeah, he loves it, vas a decir, it loves he, yeah. Okay. Luego yo te voy a decir, job great, I uh, like sounds that. Luego tú me vas a decir, medicine sports in specializes he, doctor a uh, his. ¿Ok? Ok. Bien, el objetivo de eso es que no te detenga el hecho de tener, digamos, como si encuentras palabras un poco difíciles que no te detenga. Ok. ¿Vale? Y que generes un poco más de fluidez. ¿Ok? Bien, comenzamos okay. con esto. Bien, tú comienzas. Ok. It loves he, yeah. Ok. Yo, great, I like sounds that. Medicine, sport, in specializes, he, doctor, a his. There, do, he, does what? Hospital, at, at, what, he. Do Bob does what? Bien raro, ¿verdad? Sí. Excelente. Solo un detalle. Acá. Decir specializes. Specializes. Eso, ¿verdad? No hay que decir es, ¿verdad? Solo specializes. Solo el sonido de la es. Specializes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok. Sí, considero que tu, tu pronunciación ha mejorado bastante, pero bastante. Gracias. Pero siempre hay detallitos que vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Okay. Yeah. Student, school, Student. stomach, sky. Vamos. Student, school, stomach, sky. Very good. Nice. Bien hecho. Bien, vamos de reversa en rivers, backwards, con esta. Okay. Eh, all, uh -huh. all it has she full and here. Grounds also she, yeah. Sí, solo aquí es her. Okay, her. 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 Porque si dices here. Es de aquí. Es de aquí, exacto. Sí. Ok. Who so that's how? Ah, wow. Horses, rices, she and farm, a has she. It loves she, yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice uh, sounds that. Countryside that in lives she. Live Mary does where? Ok, excelente. Ahora vamos a hacer la conversación dos normal. Ok, comienzo. Where okay. does Mary live? She lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horses. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also grows her own food. She has it all. Perfect, Carly. Okay, a question. Have you practiced or practicado? Bueno, se nota que practicas a menudo, pero no sé de qué manera has estado practicando. Eh, pues, eh, hace poco, ese fin de este vacaciones, tuve un viaje. Iba con un amigo que, bueno, con unos amigos que ellos sí hablan inglés. ¿Qué pueden hablar inglés? ¿A dónde? Con ellos. Uh -huh. eh, en Ecuador. Perfecto. Entonces intenté practicar con ellos lo poquito que, que yo puedo. Yes, yeah, but, but you sound uh, really good. Suena 
mejor, ¿verdad? En inglés, te noto también más segura. And that's very, very important. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Vamos a aprovechar los últimos minutos que nos quedan con esto. And let me show you something. Let me ver algo. Te voy a mostrar una actividad de otro grupo un poco avanzada. Ok. Se me quedó una que sea más adecuada. Sí. No encuentro. Lo que pasa es que esas necesitan una, una inducción diferente. Ok. Um, let's talk about. I'm going to um, ask you two things. Dos, dos, dos cosas. Number one. Do you remember a very interesting tradition in your family or when your friends? For example, it is common that in vacations or in holidays you. You have special days with your family and uh, friends. Do you remember one special memory? Yes, and uh, celebrate the birthday. Oh, the birthday. Uh, yes, how, all family. How do you do it? Um, How was it? And, and with all family. Oh, with all family. Okay, See. how many brothers do you have? I have a one brother. I have one brother. Okay. And sisters? And I don't have. Okay. Um, perfect. Do you know how many cousins do you have? Because sometimes we have a lot of cousins. Yes, I have uh, one cousin. Just one cousin. Yes. Okay. Very small <laughs> family. Perfect. Um, very nice. Now you tell me three things that you like in general? Uh, in general? Yes, I... maybe they, they, they can be serious or activities or food or whatever you want. Three things. Yes, uh, I like to play soccer. Okay, I... uh, actually, do you play in a team? Uh, more or less. More or less, yes. In but... free time. In free, ah, time. in free time. Okay, do you yes. play in a championship tournament? Uh, yes, and, and in high school. Ah, in high school. High okay. school. Very yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like uh, real. You, okay, I like to read. Mm -hmm. To read. Okay, uh, can you mention one or two books that you like? And uh, actually, I read the uh, uh, five love of children. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what? And other? And other. And is that you choose? Mm. Yes. That's very strange. That's a very strange name. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. And, and I like drink coffee with my friends. No, oh, that's wonderful. That's really yes. good. That's really good. Okay, so it is good when you drink coffee because you, you, you talk about many things. You have good conversations. Uh, yes, okay. yes. Now, Carly, you ask me two questions. Whatever you want to ask. Uh, what about you, the abortion? Ah, what's my opinion about abortion? Yes. Okay. I consider that that's a difficult topic because um, we are talking about killing a human being. 
killing alive. I know that there are some difficult cases, for example, raidment. Raidment is like violation. And so that's difficult because uh, girls have some traumas, problems after violation, after raidment. And maybe I agree. I say just to abortion, just in case the mother is in danger and, and if uh, the baby is not complete mm -hmm. because it is difficult because I am a Catholic and I consider that life is so important, but uh, we have to take into account different things. Mm -hmm. But if a person, if a girl or a, a man and woman say, uh, let's abort let's have an abortion because yes mm -mm, i don't think so i think that that's a sin yes okay, okay. and so and uh, i would you like travel to spain yes i would like actually i have traveled to some countries a couple of years ago but Spain is so amazing. There are a lot of places you can visit. And I guess they have like a good museums. And for, for example, I could, I would like to be to Madrid. I would like to be, I would like to, to visit some other places. Uh, Pamplona, for example, they have, I, I am not in agreement about killing animals, killing bulls, but I guess they have like very good festivals as well. Yeah, and okay. the Camp Nou Stadium. Yes, of course, that's, yes. the, that's the, the, the principal. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I want to go because I'm, I'm from Barcelona team, definitely. Yes, I yes. Yet, uh, okay, Kelly, do you have yeah. very good questions? And remember that something important for a conversation, it's the questions. If you can have, if you can ask very good questions, the conversation is going to be, is going to flow normally without stress or pressure. Entonces, es importante como formular bien las preguntas que hagan que la persona te diga algunas cosas. Así que esa es la clave de una buena conversación en inglés, Carly. Lo manejas okay. bastante bien, así que te felicito, Gracias. me alegra que sigas así. Sé que tenés un objetivo bien claro que es avanzar mucho en inglés por tu trabajo y todo eso. But believe it, you're going to do it. Lo vas a hacer. No ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, it's a pleasure, Carly, así que pues se nos termina el tiempo. Have a okay. good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye, bye.